We are talking about the Affordable Care Act on open line tonight. The deadline to sign up for health insurance coverage in 2019 is this Saturday at midnight. If you have questions, now is the time to ask two wonderful experts, Tony and Mary, joining me tonight. We have Max on the line. We're going to go right to the phones. Max, thanks for starting us off tonight. What's your question? Yes, I had it last year, and I, I'm on early retirement, mm -hmm. and I, I got the insurance, mm -hmm. but they cut me off, said I was illegal. I took everything there to them, but they said I went, they sent me a letter said I was illegal. I was born here in 1954. My parents from here and everything. I don't understand. I just want to know if I'll be 65 in June. Mm -hmm. I just want to know if I can get any insurance still then. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to put you on hold so you can listen to your TV. Max, thank you for your call. Any thoughts on this? I'm going to let Mary go. So sometimes uh, <clears throat> there are issues that come up um, with identity verification, mm -hmm. which I think m might be the issue here. Um, sometimes uh, healthcare.gov is very good at checking out based on people's social security numbers and a little information, checking on government databases and, and verifying that you are who you say you mm -hmm. are. Um, sometimes for whatever reason, there is a, a glitch or an issue and someone's identity can't be verified. Even US citizens who've, who've you know, born and raised here. Um, sometimes it can be a result of having a limited credit history um, or like a name change. Navigators can help you through that process. Um, <clears throat> so, so we'd be happy to help you this mm -hmm. year. Even though you were cut off last year, it's a new year. You can sign up during open enrollment this year. And with the Medicare starting in June, um, it's great because you can sign up now and have coverage through June and then call us back. I think two months before you turn 65 is when you can go and choose your Medicare plan and we can help with the process of terminating the marketplace coverage and then referring you to assistance with with choosing a Medicare you know choosing looking at your Medicare options as great. well so. great so Max get that pen and paper ready we're going to continue to give out that number so you can get hooked up with a navigator this week we want to get you covered all right let's go to uh, Marcus on the line hi Mark what's your question tonight uh, I got a question uh, uh, how much would it cost for me to get uh, yeah, health insurance, uh, like I make like 1400 a month. Mm -hmm. Well, s some of the questions, like if, if he came in and, and he was making 1400 a month, one of the first questions we would ask him is, are, are you coming to apply for yourself or you and your spouse or mm -hmm. you and your kids? So we'd try to find out, you know, the sort of the tax family, you know, who's in that family. Um, and if it's just Max, he's making $1,400 a month. And then the second thing we would ask is on a uh, it's on a sliding scale as far as the help that different people get. But also, uh, the ACA is very similar to other health insurance in the sense that the older you are, the more expensive mm -hmm. your premiums are. So, I'd, uh, you know, we'd have to find out what his age is and those kinds of things. So it's hard to say exactly how much that he would pay until we have that information. And that's why it's so important for people to check it out. It really is because some people, I mean, sometimes, like Mary mentioned, mm -hmm. there are plans out there with very low premiums and some for zero premiums. Uh, it's not necessarily the best buy because you have a high deductible, but if he, it sounds like he, if he's applying for himself, he likely is going to be eligible for some premium tax credits that's going to lower his, his both his premium as well as his cost sharing. What mm -hmm. else would you say, mm -hmm. Mary? Yeah, I would <coughs> say Tony's exactly right. So it's really hard for us to estimate because the premium amount is based on so many things, their geographic location, age, um, income, household size. But um, at that income level, he should be, he's, even if he's single, he's eligible for for the premium tax credit mm -hmm. assistance to lower his premium. So it would be very uh, beneficial for him to go on and, and, and give us a call and look mm -hmm. at his options on the marketplace. I want to talk about <laughs> some of the vocabulary mm -hmm. that we use yes. because sometimes <laughs> we spit things out. And <laughs> even I, when I signed up for insurance, and I've been doing this for, you know, 20-something years through an employer insurance every single year, I have to go back and say, okay, now what was that? Mm -hmm. And what does this mean? Mm -hmm. So let's start with premium. Mm -hmm. Premium is what you're going to pay out of your paycheck or every month or every two mm -hmm. weeks, whatever it is, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So on the marketplace, it's a, and that's a good question because a lot of people may be used to paying through their employer yes. and it comes out of their paycheck mm -hmm. maybe every other week when they get paid. So with the marketplace, it's a monthly premium 
Um, so it's once a month and you would pay it directly to the insurance company. So it wouldn't come out of your paycheck. It doesn't mm -hmm. get set up like that. You just would go online and pay or it's mail a them bill. a check. Or, mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. It's your monthly mm -hmm. bill. Okay. Mm -hmm. Deductible. Let's define <laughs> deductible. Okay. And the deductible is the, out of the, the annual amount that a person has to pay until uh, their other cost sharings kick in. Like if they have a $500 deductible, they actually have to pay the first $500 out of their pocket. And then after that, then they might be able to get co-pays for maybe $10 for a physician visit or $5 for, uh, for generic drugs. And so that's when that comes into play. So the deductible is the part that they are responsible for in general. Now, And that's on top of your premium. On top mm -hmm. of the premium. Yes. And some of the insurance companies have some other twist to that <coughs> where you can actually see a doctor three times without the deduct without worrying about the deductible. Mm -hmm. So there are some other small twists in there, but basically that's what they're responsible for paying mm -hmm. uh, after they pay mm -hmm. their premium. And um, if you never reach your deductible, that's fine. So that right. is a question that we get sometimes, mm -hmm. especially if it's a plan with a higher mm -hmm. deductible. Mm -hmm. Well, what if I don't reach it? That's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're not going to have a bill at the end of the year right. to reach your deductible. True. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, with the Affordable Care Act, there are different levels of plans. Sometimes mm -hmm. we throw out gold, silver, bronze. <laughs> You're like, what? Am I getting an Olympic medal or what's the deal? I don't know. Can you talk mm -hmm. about that a little bit? Well, Mary, you go ahead okay. with that one. Um, so, so there's bronze, silver, gold. Um, there used to be platinum, but we don't have any platinum plans on the so. marketplace anymore. Um, and it's what you would expect. So bronze are going to be, um, they're going to have the lowest premium or monthly bill. So you pay the most on a monthly basis, mm -hmm. or you pay the least on a monthly basis. Um, but the deductibles are going to be the highest. So um, it might be a good fit for someone who doesn't think that they'll use their insurance. Um, they really want it just in case of emergency it's like a safety. only. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly, mm -hmm. like a safety net. Um, and then silver plans are the best value for many people. The premium is going to be a little bit more, but there's an extra form of financial assistance that's applied to the silver plans that many, many people qualify for, and it lowers their deductible. Um, and the lowering the deductible is key, yes. as Tony mm -hmm. said, because then when they actually go to use their coverage, the insurance company is paying, paying more mm -hmm. sooner. Mm -hmm. And then gold plans are going to have the highest premium. Um, and then the, the deductibles will be lower than the bronze. But for many people who are qualifying for financial assistance, the deductibles are actually higher than the silver deductibles. Oh, wow. Um, so for most folks, it's it's not a good fit if they're qualifying for that extra assistance. Mm -hmm. We see, by and large, the most people that we assist enroll in silver and then bronze. It, why would somebody want gold? Is it just because it offers more um, if they don't, screenings or you know coverage? If they don't qualify for financial assistance, mm -hmm. um, then the gold might be a good plan if they're wanting to have a set monthly amount and then when they go to the doctor, not have to worry so much about opening up their pocketbook and spending a whole lot. Right. So. Well, in <clears throat> fact, Monday night, one of the things that we that I tell folks about the preventive health services, mm -hmm. uh, that's one thing that you can, that's one service you can get without worrying about any copay. There's no right. copay. Like your annual physical. Uh, mm -hmm. Annual physical. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was talking to a gentleman who is in his early 50s, and I said, well, have you ever had a colonoscopy? And he said, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I don't want one. <laughs> but uh, that's a free mm -hmm. preventive health service. Uh, if you had to pay that out of pocket, that's a, that's a two to a four thousand dollar bill. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of preventive health services, especially for women. Yes, and maybe Mary mm -hmm. could talk mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. the preventive so health. an annual well woman visit um, is included, and then all the screenings, cervical cancer screening every three years, and various other screenings um, are, are preventive services. Um, birth control is considered a preventive service, so that's also free. And your mammograms once you reach mm -hmm. a certain mm -hmm. age, after, those sorts yeah, of things. Yeah, after certain age, yeah. mammograms yeah. as well. Okay, mm -hmm. we have another caller on the line. Let's see, we have Brian tonight. Hi, Brian, what's your question? Hey, uh, I called last time. I said that uh, I knew that, that Obamacare, they had cut back the budget mm -hmm. as, as a way that, that they couldn't get rid of it. They just said they cut the money off. But the uh, navigator's been cut down. She said most of the navigators are in the poor and the urban areas. But I'm wondering, I live out in the country, and uh, I think a lot of the, uh, they're going to have the, uh, you know, a lot of the affordable care, a lot of it should be an education and like they're doing, like they're saying, preventative medicine. Because I know a lot, like in public, they'll give you statins free if you get your prescription and um, aspirin, certain things, uh, birth controls and uh, 
annual checkups I know I can get at the Fairview Clinic. I don't have to pay for it. It's real cheap, like 80 bucks. And then if it's minor stuff, they, they charge me very little. If they could keep concentrating that in the, in the country areas where they don't have, you know, you say they don't have as much uh, help, but uh, and there's, it's hard to get doctors out here, but okay. education, prevention, and stopping obesity and smoking and heavy drinking will probably be good, good for people all the country. And then, of course, we got a hold of the meth thing, you know, because that's mostly all the country, because you can smell meth lab my way to Canada and the city. And now it's been replaced by opiates. And now they're, 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 I'm out of the country. Let me tell you, they're slamming down the opiates. I went to some farmies over here. They used to be pill factories, and they don't do that no more. One of the owners told me. So that seems, I think things are changing to do pretty good. Maybe part of the economy. Maybe some of it, or just people are getting some more health assistance. Besides insurance, let's not talk about insurance. Let's talk about health. You know, like people stay healthy. If they can prevent it and educate people, I think that's half the battle. Yeah. But I don't know. Who am I? <laughs> Brian, thank you for calling well, in. You. you know, I want to circle back to one thing that Brian said is for folks who are living in rural areas, you know, we get out the 844 number. We're yes. going to continue to give that mm -hmm. out. Um, is that for people just in Davidson County or is that for people no, all across wide, Tennessee? All across Tennessee. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that they we're doing this year more than we ever did last year is we're actually doing interviews over the phone. Mm -hmm. So <coughs> we can actually help a person enroll no matter where they are in Tennessee. Mm -hmm. And if, what if somebody doesn't have computer access? I know libraries, public libraries mm -hmm. offer that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are some other options mm -hmm. to sign up? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, the telephone, I mean, uh, Mary has done telephone mm -hmm. interviews. Mm -hmm. uh, Mary, why, talk. So, so yeah, I can speak with someone on the phone and I can do the online portion gotcha. of the application on my end and then they're just answering the questions. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's also available um, from the marketplace. They have a 1-800 number you can call and enroll over the phone. Um, but the great thing about calling the A for 4 number and getting a phone interview with someone local is we're in Tennessee Right. We understand the Tennessee plans, um, and we can take that that extra time to make sure that people understand their options. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One thing that has changed over the past few years is that the Affordable Care Act is not the only option if you don't have employer-provided insurance. Is it worth checking on your own for private, I don't even know what you call it, private insurance companies or whatever, private plans? Well, they're, they're still out there. I mean, uh, and, and sometimes, I mean, we would love to see the Affordable Care Act sort of tweaked and mm -hmm. improved and uh, President Obama tried to do that but the Congress would not let him do that but besides that the, f the fact of the matter is that sometimes folks who they are pretty well off mm -hmm. but maybe they're self-employed and if they go to the Affordable Care Act and if they're more than four times poverty they're not going to get any help and so they might find they're paying the full price right. in that. but they're perfectly healthy and they have no health con they, ha they don't have diabetes, right. asthma, or anything else, then they might want to go to the Farm Bureau and get a plan mm -hmm. there. Um, now, those plans, they might have annual limits, and they might have lifetime limits, and they might ask medical questions, like do you have diabetes or asthma or those kinds of things. Uh, the ACA does not ask any medical questions. There are no lifetime and no annual limits. So, so that's the reason that mm -hmm. the health care, that, that's what the reason that we have the Affordable Care Act, because actually it, it was, ha the individual market was not working very well right. for individuals. Uh, we can say it wasn't totally successful, but the, matter, the fact of the matter is that 23 million more Americans are insured today than they were before because of the Affordable Care Act. That's a good place to take a commercial break. So that's what we're going to do. If you have a question about signing up for the Affordable Care Act, should you do it, should you not? How do you go about it? Stay with us. Grab a pen and paper. We're going to give you out that all-important number again. But if you have a question, here's the number I want you to call, 615-737-PLUS.